Hey guys, welcome to another Deep Dive Monday. Well, today we're going to be looking at a specific menu section under Edit Mesh, and that is the vertices section, okay? Uh, maybe somewhat technical, but nevertheless good to know. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Well, welcome to Deep Dive Monday. Well, what are we going to be looking at today? We're going to be looking at a menu found under Edit Mesh, and it's called the Vertex Menu. So you've got three options down there. You've got the Average Vertices, you've got the Chamfer Vertices, and you've got the Reorder Vertices. That's what we're going to look at, all right? So let's uh, set up a quick scene here. I'm going to start off with, uh, let's say, a simple plane. Now, I just want to bring that subdivision down a bit. So let's set that to uh, one by one. And while I'm doing that, I'll explain to you what this basically does. Um, average vertices allows you to smooth an object without actually changing your poly count. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control E to uh, extrude. Let's hit W to pull that out, and let's hit G to repeat last command. And pull that out again, and push that down a bit. Right? Okay. So let's say this is the curve of I don't know a cylinder or something that you created. Right? And you can see these corners are pretty, uh, you know, pretty distinct, and it's not very smooth at all, right? So what you do uh, is you select your vertices, and I'll just jump to this view here so you can see it better, right? Okay, so if I right-click at a vertex, you see you've got these vertices, and what we're going to do is we're going to average their position compared to this one. So the average position between that one and that one will be lower if you take the others into account, okay? So what happens when I take these two and I go up to Edit Mesh and under Vertex to Average Vertices, and I click on that, they will come down, and they will basically smooth that out, right? Now, Iterations allows you to uh, kind of tweak your settings as to how far you want it to go or not. So if I hit Control Z to go back, you will see that it will jump up, and G to repeat last command will have it come down again, right? So that's what that is in a nutshell, all right? Okay, so what else we got? We got chamfer vertices. Now, for that, I basically need to show you something else first. Uh, we're going to go in here, and I'll get a simple cube in here, and that will basically uh, show you what's going on. So I got a vertex going on right there and right there, right? And in between, we got this edge, that one. Now, what happens if you go to Edit Mesh and Bevel? What you will see is, and I'll just bring that fraction down a bit. Before I had a vertex on this corner and I had one on the corner over there, right? These two have now moved. They actually have been split up to be exact. They went, one went there, one went there, and there's a new face in the middle. Now that is basically what happens when we do chamfer vertex and I'll show you. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to take a new polygon plane and we'll go in here. And I'm going to right click and select one of these vertices. It doesn't really matter which one, okay? So, what I'm basically doing here when I go to Edit Mesh and Chamfer Vertices is it will split up, and uh, instead of having one point right there, it's splitting that way and that way. And it's a neat tool if you, for example, want to have a face in the middle that you can then, for example, circularize, right? So, if you go in there, you can go in and go in here circularize components and you can uh, tweak that setting let's see add division do, 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 do. there you go right so that's what that is okay then for the difficult one so um before i jump into this i just want to let you guys know that i'll put a link below to a very detailed uh, video on this it's uh, posted by flip normals um check out these guys they know what they're talking about I had the opportunity to work with them in the past and they are uh, pretty cool. So shout out to them, right? Okay, I'm going to go into this just very basically because they went into it in much more detail. Okay, so the reorder vertices. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a simple object here. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it, hit W to move it over. There you go. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here, take one of these vertices, kind of move that out in the way, right? Then I'm going to go in, I'm going to right click at object mode. Select this guy, shift like this guy, and go to deform and blend shape. So now if I go into my attribute editor and I go into the new tab, right? 
you'll see I can go back to the original position and I can go to my tweaked position. Now, the reason why I can do that is because every vertex on this cube right here has a number. And I'll show you. If we go in here and I go up to, uh, let's see, where's that? Display, uh, polygons, and I never ever use this, so I have to look, uh, component ID and vertices. You will see that there's a number on each vertex, right? Now, the thing is, these numbers cor uh, correspond with the numbers on this guy right here. Come on, mouse, right there, okay? So if I hit G to repeat, you'll see we've got the same deal. Okay, so when I move one vertex here, it corresponds with that one. Now, the thing is, what happens when you change something in the mesh of the second one, right? Let's say you cut out a face and you replace it or you uh, detach it and, you know, merge it back on or flip it around or whatever. Whatever that is that you do, what will happen is you will mess up the order of things, okay? And as a result, your blend shape will not work anymore and it will blow up. Now, this is something I really don't use a lot. That's why I'm referring you guys to the video of uh, the guys at Flip Normals. They will go into this in great length, right? But what the reorder vertices uh, option does is it allows you to tell Maya, okay, which vertex has what number, okay? That's how that works. So uh, that's basically it for that little section there. So average vertex, chamfer vertex, and reorder vertex or vertices. And if you got any uh, s uh, section in Maya that you want me to cover in these deep dives, uh, please let me know and I'll happily do that, okay? Well, that's it for this uh, short little video. See you guys next time. Bye.